There's a function that not many people know about, hidden within Microsoft Word. Well, actually, there's quite a few of them, but this one is definitely more useful than most. This is known as the spike function, and it's a really practical way to pull text from various parts of a document in order to ultimately compile it into a new part of your project, using only the parts that you want. So to show you what I mean, let's open up a document with a significant amount of text. Now, imagine I'm editing this document, and I decide that I want everything related to a certain topic not to be broken up among the various sections like it is now, but instead to be compiled into its own section at the end of the document. Normally, I'd have to go into each section, like this, cut out the information that I want moved, scroll down to the destination, paste it, and then repeat that as many times as I have to throughout the document. However, you can actually cut all of your information to the clipboard and then drop it all into place by using the spike function. So let's imagine that I want to add this part to my clipboard. To do so, with the intent of using spike, I have to highlight my text and then hit Control and F3. You can also use Command and F3 on a Mac like I am, but be aware that you may have to turn off the Mac default functions for the function keys in order for this to work. After I hit Command F3, it cuts the text away, but I don't have to immediately scroll down and paste it. Instead, I can move to my next section and hit Command F3 again, and again, and again. So now I've cut out several pieces of text that I want to consolidate into a single section. There are a couple of different ways that you can paste the information. If you want to paste the contents into a document, but also want to save it in the spike because you perhaps want to put it somewhere else as well, you can just type spike, all lowercase letters, and hit enter. You can also use command shift F3, which will clear all the information in the spike while pasting it into the document. If you're doing some wholesale editing on a large document, this little trick can be a huge time saver. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.